Today I was going to um, introduce you to an original piece of mine, but because of technical problems I've decided instead to um, post an arrangement I made um, about a year ago of some Morris dances, traditional dance tunes, collected by the composer George Butterworth. Now, George Butterworth um, was a very talented composer of the early 20th century in Britain. Uh, he was a great friend of Vaughan Williams and actually uh, something of an influence on Vaughan Williams in his early years. Um, sadly, he was killed in the First World War. He was uh, shot through the head by a sniper in 1916 and in fact he was awarded the Military Cross in the First World War. He didn't have a very large output, not surprisingly as he died at the age of 31, but the few pieces he did write, or at least the pieces that have survived, have become quite famous. And uh, the, probably the best known one is the tone poem The Banks of Green Willow, and also his settings of A. Houseman's poems from A Shropshire Lad. Um, as I said, Butterworth was interested in uh, uh, Morris dance tunes and folk music in general. He was one of the people, uh, along with Vaughan Williams, Percy Granger, Cecil Sharp and so on, who collected folk songs in the English or the British countryside uh, in the late 19th century and in the years before the First World War. And that, that, that music uh, influences his work as it does that of Vaughan Williams and other uh, 20th century British composers. Um, a very little known uh, work of his, if you can call it a work of his, is a series of arrangements he made for piano, uh, along with Cecil Sharp, uh, of various Morris dance tunes. Uh, and it occurred to me that with the First World War centenary coming along and also Butterworth's, the centenary of Butterworth's death, um, it would be rather interesting to arrange these little pieces, or some of them anyway. And um, they are rather charming. Uh, the thing about them, of course, is that they also have an incredible poignancy about them because uh, they're mostly quite jolly little tunes. Uh, one of them is a little bit sadder, uh, but they somehow seem to sum up a rather innocent pre-Great War, Great War world um, before the apocalypse. And the interesting thing is that Morris, uh, Butterworth himself was, in fact... Um, a keen Morris dancer, so to accompany this selection of dances um, there is actually a remarkable little film of Butterworth himself and friends Morris dancing a year or two before the First World War, the war that destroyed their world and the world of um, most people of that generation. Um, so altogether there are five dances, they're called The Gallant Hussar, Trunkles, the Wiresdale Greensleeves Dance, Constant Billy, and The Bows of London City. Um, once again, this is a performance uh, devised or created by my computer because I haven't yet found a uh, real orchestra to play the pieces. I am in hope of that happening, and um, there is some faint possibility, I think, of uh, them being done at Radley College, the school where... Butterworth himself taught a few miles south of Oxford. When I go down the river on my boat, I frequently go past the section of the river near the school, which is lined on both sides with willow trees, and I always think of the bank of green willows. So here we are, Morris Dance Tunes, George Butterworth, Cecil Sharp, arranged by me for small orchestra. <laughs> 